Hey everyone, welcome back to UECast. So in this quick fix, what we're going to do is, when you've created a C++ project, it initially builds it out without utilizing the public-private folders for, for organizing the code base. Now, if you create a new C++ class within your project, and you do assign it to the public-private folders, it's going to create a new hierarchy and folder structure within your project. This will potentially break your build, and so what we need to do is we'll need to reorganize the project and set the C++ classes into the private folder and the header files into the public folder. So let's go ahead and create a new blank first person shooter. Uh, we want to make sure that we have C++ enabled. We'll do C++ CPP test project. So we have our basic first person template. So if we play it, we know. It's our basic C++ first person template. So if we go into our C++ classes, we do create new class. For this case, we'll just do a simple actor. Set it into the public. Create that class. Next, we can see if we go into our source folder, if our private and public but we only have our test actor and test actor header file here. So if we wanted to pull in our test actor, let's say we have a new property. We add a test category to the U property macro. We'll remove the metadata for our simple use case in this example. We're going to use forward look ahead here, but if we go into the actual projectile class, we try and import. We want to import test actor. We're going to get that it cannot find that source actor. So we actually want to close out of our project from Visual Studio. We want to go into our C++ classes and we want to show and explore. We can see that all the CPP files are outside of this, so we want to move the CPP files into our private folder and all the header files into our public folder. And what we want to do is we want to refresh the Visual Studio project. That'll rebuild the solution to where it's pointing at the proper files on the proper paths. Now we can open Visual Studio. So we can see that our CPP files are within our private directory and our header files are within our public directory. Reopen our projectile class and we no longer see an error for our include test actor header file, which shows that the paths are now correct for our entire game classes. Initiate a project build with F7 or using the build build solution dropdown. With this final rebuild of our project, we can see our build succeeds and we have successfully fixed our C++ public-private folder hierarchy. Following this folder structure is part of the best practices laid out by Epic Games and can be found in the Learning Action RPG sample. So I really hope that you found this useful for following the best practices and I hope this helps you organize your C++ code base and helps bring much needed standardized structure to your projects. As always, thanks for watching.